Hey you all, good evening and God bless you. Welcome to Mike Root Outdoors. Thanks a lot for watching. In this video, I have a, had a gentleman there on my community page ask me if I'd show him how to skin a squirrel and get that squirrel's hide ready to tan. So, warning, if you do not want to see a squirrel skinned, do not watch this video. Okay, if you're going to case skin your squirrel, case skin means... You're going to skin the squirrel and it's going the skin is going to be intact and look like a sock. In this case, I'm not going to do that right there, okay? I'm just going to start by making a slice right in front Do that right there. Let's go right up the squirrel's belly, right? Just like that right there. And when you're out in the woods, you're probably just going to have your, your old buck knife like I've got right here. So let's make you a slice right up the squirrel's belly. Just like so. Now, if you do this like I'm doing this right here, the squirrel is the squirrel is still nice and warm and fresh. And you get your fingers started under that skin. And just push that squirrel's body right out of his hide, just like that right there. When he's hot, he should just pop right on through there. When you do it this way, you you won't have hardly any flesh whatsoever on the squirrel's skin to have to fool with. Shouldn't take that long to do. Been a long time since I tried to save a squirrel's skin for tanning, so I'll bear with me there just a second. Okay. Now you're gonna want you're gonna want to remove the bone from the tail. So there's a little bit of gristle you got to cut right, right there. You should be able to just pull that tail bone right on out of there, just like that. See? Uh-oh. Tore his tail in two. It ain't first time that happens. And now, pretty simple. Just pull that right on over there. This old squirrel here took one right through the, the old pumpkin head.
There's a skin squirrel skin right there. Now that's open skinned right there, ready for tanning. Now, if you want to dehair the skin, simply put that thing in a little bit of uh, lime. Let it sit there a day or two until the hair comes off, until the hair slips off of it. But we're not going to do with it. I've got a special plan for this one right here. So I'm going to show you a trick that I learned years ago when I was just a young feller. Now, once you have your skin fleshed, take a little bit of salt. Flick that right there. And salt your skin. Okay. Take a piece of pasteboard and staple it to the wall somewhere. Just like I've got that right there. Next thing we're going to do. Is we're going to stick up. We're going to try to. Staples may not be this quite long enough. All right, you all, now check this out. I learned this trick years ago when I was just a lad. This pasteboard will pull the moisture out of that skin, and it it won't take it but about two or three days to do it. You put the salt on there, instead of uh, turning it upside down and watching the salt and all that stuff run out, or the, the water run out of the skin, that pasteboard will absorb that salt, and this will work on any skin. Just takes a bigger piece of pasteboard, but it will absorb the salt. Then what you're really doing is you're setting the hair in the skin so that bacteria don't set up and and ruin, let the hair come out of this skin right here. And uh, it'll, it'll suck that, it'll suck the moisture right out of it. Okay. Now for you folks who are beginners, just buy you a bottle of this stuff right here and follow the instructions. This right here works wonderful. And it is one of the best ways a beginner will get a successful tan on a hide. And by the way, you really don't, if you just really want to make a wall hanger, you do not have to, type, to uh, tan that skin, period. All you got to do is dry it out and just hang it right there on the wall. That hair will not come out of it. All right, you all, that's a pretty simple solution and, and easy way for a beginner to learn how to set the hair and tan a little skin like that right there. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. God bless you and have yourself a great day.